Hello, my name is Winslow, and um, for a project in Honor's studio, we have to record ourselves and show off our art and stuff, and um, yeah, and like give critiques to it and stuff. So the first one was breath one, and that's this one. The lighting is sh bad. And basically, the only prompt we were really given was to use alcohol-based markers. That's these in there. And I wanted to make a graveyard with it. I wanted specifically to make these two things pop, but I'm not very good with markers. So, they do pop, obviously. I wanted that to pop especially. But I wanted a very sketchy, like, kind of painting kind of look. So, nothing's really terribly blended, just because I like the way it looks. Like, you can see the background here isn't blended well. That's just because I like the way it looked. I thought it looked, I thought it gave it nice texture and stuff. Um, there are like little white spots where I would need to like fill in, but because of the markers so thick, it was really hard to do. So, like, I would probably, if I were to redo this, I would probably figure out a way to fix that, but I don't currently know how to. And then for the second one, um, I believe the prompt was to make things flow, like, and stuff like that. So I did this big piece, I'm trying to see. I draw really light, so it's probably hard to see at first. So let me keep it there. And basically what I did, um, I covered this entire page first with a bunch of squiggly lines and then slowly, like, the entire thing, and then slowly made it inch down into the hand and show, like, the hand drawing it. And it's based off my hand, obviously. And it's basically just, like, this one big drawing of two pages. I... S like, I specifically didn't use colors because I'm not a big fan of using colors. But now that I look at it, it would make, like, a great opportunity to, like, color the hand and maybe, like, some of the squiggles and make it go to black and white, like, on the page here. Just because that would look really cool to me because the whole point of the process was to make it, like, like, the artist can blend into, like, its own reality and whatever. And that's basically what I tried doing. And I thought it, I think now that it would look really cool with the, like the color and then blending into it. I feel like that would look really cool, but I didn't do it. So, and then for the next one, we had to do negative or no, that's the wrong one. We had to do inverted color kind of thing. And we had to use, like, graphite and stuff for it. Actually, I don't know if that was a requirement. But I use graphite. <laughs> and it's supposed to be inverted, and it's supposed to be, like, an eyeball. But it was a little rushed, and out of all of them, this is the one I'm going to redo. Just because I do not like how it came out at all. But... You can see here, here and stuff, the eyeball. That's where a shadow would be, and it's lighter than everything else because it's inverted, so it would be a shadow. So that's that one. There's no more in that one. Next one is um, impasto, which is a painting form where like the paint is like all bumpy over the thing over the painting and like there's a lot of texture and stuff and it's like clunky these are bad explanations but 
And I decided to actually paint for this one, obviously. So I had a canvas and I drew this. You can't, if I put it like this, hang on. You can kind of see it. It's not very obvious, but it was more obvious when, like, sorry, it was more obvious when I could, um, like, when I did it at first, but then it sort of flattened out over time, because I didn't, you're supposed to use, like, oil paintings and stuff, or oil paint for this, because then it would settle, but I used acrylic, because I didn't have any oil paint, and it just kind of flattened after a while. But, basically, I wanted to make something really soft and, like, nice underneath and then splatter it with a little butter knife that I found. That's what the black and white lines are. Yeah. So that's that one. And then, for the other two, uh, those will be at the end because I did those digitally. And there's another one after that. But... The traditional, last traditional I did, was this. It's pop art. See, this is paper. All of this paper. Except that stuff, I couldn't make that paper. That's pens and white out and stuff. I had this black paper. Oh, sorry, the prompt was use utensils as like the focus point. So, I took a picture of a bunch of uh, like pens and materials that I was using for this art piece and I there's so much glitter on my hand because the gray it's glittery and I uh, sorry I copied it on paper and stuff this is actually like one of those paint chip thingies here wait these paint chip thingies that you get at, like Home Depot or something that's what the scissors are. Uh, these are the pens. They're obviously pens. These were... These two were markers. The Sharpie markers. But these were also the pens. Just because the gray Sharpie marker didn't look nice next to it. So I used the pen instead. Oh. Nothing that... They, orange stain. You probably can't even see it. But like there's an orange stain. That's just glue. It just leaked out of it. But yeah, I made it a little pop art thing because I thought that would be interesting. And I had this black paper that I've never used, so I wanted to use that because I wanted to be creative for once. And I'll be right back with the digital stuff. <laughs> 